Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mesa of Destiny. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you have not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to go to the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to prove inequality using the mean value theorem. Let's look at the question. Using the mean value theorem, prove that e to the power x is greater than x plus 1 and less than x times e to the power x plus 1 for all x greater than 0. Now, if we let f of x to be equal to, remember to subscribe, e to the power x on the close interval 0 to x. So we say that f of x to e to the power x is continuous on this interval and open interval. This is an open interval. So it is differentiable on this open interval. Then there exists a number c between 0 and x such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So here a is 0 and b is x. So we take f prime of c to be equal to f of b. So we take this. That will give us e to the power x. Remember b equal to x minus f of a. a is 0. So we take e to the power 0 divided by x minus 0, which will give us e to the power x minus 1 divided by x. Now, our f of x is equal to e to the power x. This implies that f prime of x is equal to e to the power x. Check the distortion for the video on derivative of the derivative of e. This is natural exponential function, right? Yes. Okay. So, our f prime of c will now be e to the power c. So, this is equal to e to the power c. Very simple as that. Now, we are saying that c lies between 0 and x. It means that 0 is less than c, less than x. 2 lies between 1 and 3. It means that 1 is less than 2 and this is less than 3. Yes, 1 lies between 2 and 3. So, you can write this. Check from your calculator that e to the power 1 will be less than e to the power 2 and this will be less than e to the power 3. So here, e to the power 0 will be less than e to the power c and it will be less than e to the power x. e to the power c is e to the power x minus 1 divided by x. So you have e to the power 0 less than e to the power x minus 1 divided by x less than e to the power x. If you multiply through by x, e to the power 0 is 1 times x is x, less than e to the power x minus 1, less than x times e to the power x. Now, there's an inequality, so 1 will go here and it will come here. This implies that we have x, if the negative 1 comes here, to be plus 1, less than e to the power x, if negative 1 comes here, to be x, e to the power x plus 1, as shown. So, in case you need this part alone, you can write that from here, x plus 1 is less than e to the power x. In case you need this part alone, you say that from here, e to the power x is less than x times e to the power x plus 1. You could have also uh, forgot about this place and then take only this place to prove this. That is, we could have said that since c lies between 0 and x, we could have taken 0 less than e to the power x. Sorry, 0 less than c. And then take e to the power 0 less than e to the power c. This would be 1 less than e to the power c is e to the power x minus 1 divided by x. And if x less than e to the power x minus 1, and x plus 1 will be less than e to the power x. You could have taken only this part to prove that e to the power x is greater than that. If you, only, if you want this part alone, to, you can take this part to prove. Or you can prove up to this level as what you were to prove, and then say that from here, 
this is greater than that or from here this is less than that thank you for watching subscribe like share leave your comments bye bye